you know, you can do your thing. So uh, we were talking on because uh, it was coincidence that you to walk out and I, my exact brain, my exact brain thoughts yeah. was like, this is a really good director. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's a compliment, but it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a truthful comment, so it's not a, you know. Yeah. Um, so, and the other thing I was talking to you about was, uh, was basically there's this whole thing where you know you become you're a writer first whatever then you become a, a poet then you become a playwright then yeah, you yeah, become yeah, a novelist all of that yeah thing, yeah nice track and, and when I was looking at it, I said oh, she's she's a really good poet on on that tip of being a playwright yeah. I'd yeah. like to see you in a few years so what what attracted you to this piece and um, what well, um, well is there anything I said is right wrong or whatever yeah 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 listen Sponga always is the first time playwright. Um, and she won a, a, a national uh, playwright that is done by um, uh, Henneken Beverages and National Arts Festival. So there's a competition nationally, and then she won that competition as a first play. Were there a lot of and people? You, there were more than 500 people that Ooh. applied. Um, thereafter, of course, the, the Henneken Beverages and, 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 and NEF, uh, and Henneken Beverages gives money to produce it. And then the author who won, uh, which this time was Sponga uh, Konge Mama, uh, have to find the actors and find the director for it. Oh, okay. Okay. With, with, so a, with, with the budget and stuff. Yeah. Yes. So in a way, and then she called me, and then we had long conversations about it. Uh, it's very strange. I don't normally direct people's work. I make my own work mm -hmm. and stuff. So. But how does she know you? Why did she call you? Because of she saw I, I, I was a co-curator. <laughs> of um, the Center for the Less Good Ideas in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. um, and she saw, I co-curated season nine. She saw that, mm -hmm. she saw my work, and she was okay. very attracted to my work. Oh, so she's in jo she's not a She's based in Joburg, I'm in Cape Town, but the work that I was doing was in Joburg. The center is based in Johannesburg in Mabone. Um, and, and, and then coincidentally, we met again into this dinner that my friend made the dinner in Johannesburg, because I was in Johannesburg. She thought he thought that they'd call a couple of people, and this was one of those people. Um, uh, and then he called me early this year in Jen, said that, listen, um, I, I don't know if you will want to direct this play. I know you don't direct people's work, uh, but can you please read the script and maybe suggest a director for me. And then I read the script and at that time I was doing my production called The Cadillac Cleaser, The Sermon, um, which is the spear of the head. Um, uh, which is quite a huge choral work. Uh, uh, huge choral work meaning how many people? You know, fifteen people. Okay. Fifteen people, um, and choral work it means that there are a lot of chorus yeah, 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 yeah. In, in, into it. Hence, there's a sermon yeah. um, at the end of the title. You yeah. know, the sermon. Um, and my work has always been um, titled in many ways. Some people might title it as ritual theatre okay, or yeah. ritual performance and stuff. Yeah. It, 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 it has always been around. Reclamation of of the African aesthetics and uh, um, and reclamation of the African themes and content uh, and and in finding herbs in that anyway so so finding hymns herbs herbs okay herbs in, into it mm. uh, meaning you know uh, finding healing in, in, oh, a okay. way, in making these kinds of stories mm -hmm. because of we we come from a place where we are wounded and and the work that we do is a creation of medicine, a creation of herbs, and you know, by reclaiming certain identities that we have been buried mm. in, in ourselves. So anyway, so, and she loved that. I said to her, mm. okay, well, if, if we are doing this, then it means that I need to uh, direct it in my own way and I need to get my own cast and stuff. So, and, and she was happy, she was happy with that. Um, Let's work for her, what you yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then uh, the people that you see there, uh, you know, I've, I've worked with them for, for many years and they friends there, but also they are not just act, they are theater makers, they are okay. directors for themselves, so that the, the work itself was a, 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 a village spirit, it was a, a creation, so that said, here's the script, let's make it work, let's find meaning of the script. So the idea, so, so in a way, the, the, the work of the directorial thing follow the rules of the village spirit, you know, which is more curatorial, a collective curatorial mm -hmm. of the work, so that 
Okay, what do you think about that scene? So we were all making it together. You know, at our, you know, I held the space, of course. And of course, I designed it, you know, uh, in a way, the world. Was, I knew exactly the, from the indication of the script that what kind of world that is needed and how can I make that world to to actually to embrace the complexities mm -hmm. that are being in this place. Now, you mentioned re re ritualistic theater, but also you, you said something in there when we were talking yes. about Yes, so, so my work also seek to find, uh, it's very sensorial. Sens sensorial. Yeah, so in, in a way it seeks to find sounds, not only in the text, but mm -hmm. sounds, the breathing. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, sounds in objects, sounds in, in, in the atmosphere mm. that makes and tell stories that the text cannot tell. Mm. You know, uh, um, uh, so I've always been, and that might mean singing, chorus work, you know, um, uh, the way that the words have been said and, and the poetic nature of saying those words, um, the oral tradition of storytelling style in, in a way of holding the space of, of but also the dreamscape, mm -hmm. you know, um, of, of our lives and how those, all those cultures really help us to make meaning about our lives. Now, I don't want to keep you long. Yeah. Actually, I'm lying, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last year, no, earlier this year, I guess, whenever it was, um, yeah, yeah. in Dimbaza, uh, 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 Dr. DC out of uh, Kailichu's, he runs around, it. Anyway, he, he did a piece uh, at a Dimbaza uh, called Dimbaza the Dumping Ground about the bars in the Eastern Cape. Ah, and I know Tim yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you know Dr. DC? You know, uh, no, no, right? no, I know, I know there's a documentary and film mm -hmm. that was there, uh, that was made, but my, but, I mean, my interest in Timbaza was not that, but also my interest has always been about the story about the, the last grave of Timbaza. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always been interested in oh, that. Come and visit, know. come yeah, and visit. Yeah, yeah. We will welcome you, you can hang out, you know. Yeah. Are you based in Timbaza? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Timbaza. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I have actually, I uh, two, three weeks ago I was there uh, in those old factories. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. because yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. I even went to the to the funeral parlor. There's a there's a there's an old hearse. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I took pictures of that hearse. Yeah. I was fascinated by it. That means um, you pass by my stop or one of one of the places I hang out with, which is the the the, the Bar Society for the Aged. Ah, you should, you should always stop in there. You should talk to those guys. Oh really? Oh, we have a, <laughs> we have a ball every. I'm I'm anyway. I, I was bringing uh, Dr. DC up only because. He worked the same way in the Mazda. They created the story out of the people like nice. that. Yeah. Now, well, now, oh, admittedly, I just saw him, his work. And now you're talking about where you're talking now. Is there some sort of move in South Africa to, to get more of this, I don't want to say ritualistic, but more to the ground, more, more of this working with, with, with regular folk uh, to, to create theater? Um, I, I, think, I think for me, for me, I've been fortunate because I've been... 90% of people that I work with is people that I've been working with. And so we grew together. You know, like when I say grew, I mean in the work of art. So we can say that they knew my style and all those kinds of things. And but also they 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 are in the same kind of political kind of thinking uh, about the work itself. That uh, in when we talk about the African performative BT, what does it mean? You understand? And what is performance and what, what is theatre, what, what what is ritual, you understand? Uh, and what are the traditions, what are the storytelling. When, so, so most people that I work with are also in that vicinity of reclaiming mm -hmm. those elements of storytelling and, you know, uh, in, in a way. So, so it, it makes the work, but also uh, I know that people that I work with, they can sing, they are not just actors, but also they can use their bodies, but also they are coming from a style not of, of what is called realism, but they're coming from a style of physical theater. Uh, it doesn't, so, so all those things for me, physical theatre, musical theatre, you know, I don't want to name those things because no, no, all no. those things are African aesthetics of storytelling. You come and you watch, know. you come and, and watch. Exactly, With like, exactly, you whatever you can, you, know exactly. you can come, you can at the end pick up one image, say that that image for me, that was the story, mm -hmm. which is good. So, because that's what the dream do. Okay, now I'm going to let you go. Wait, 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 what's your name, by the way? It's Manjan Bote. Let's say Mandela? Yeah. In Botwe? Yeah, in Botwe. In Botwe. Yeah. And you're yeah. out of Johannesburg. No, I'm not I looking mean, at your post. I'm not going to look at your post and let people see your poster like that. That, that. That's what we're talking about. This is the, this is the play. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. It's a good play. I mean, it's a good poster. You got a yeah. good team. Who, yeah. Who's the artist? Um, oh, who, what is the name of the artist? I can. Um, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, they were good. 
But I did want to ask you one more question along the same lines. And um, I come from what's called the Black Arts Movement, the Black Theater Movement. Oh, yeah, 60s, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And one of the things, the advantage that we had, a lot of people didn't realize, the advantage that we had, we had, we had, um, we had real critics, like a guy named uh, like Larry Neal. We had real, uh, that, that, that would define the aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah but they, they would the write about aesthetic. the story also. They, yeah, they, yeah, But they would, yeah, it's, yeah. it's real criticism. Yeah. What do you have here? What, what, what does South Africa have like that? No, well, well, we've got in we've got journalists, journalists, uh, really, you know, uh, and also for this kind of work, they are limited. Yes, that's and what in I'm some of them, so there is, there isn't really people who will come and watch and really, really talk about the work and really write about the work and what it means. So you, you know, and and also those people. I mean, in the festival, there are few. In the festival, most of them are still students, mm -hmm. you know, um, who get deployed, they go and write. And um, so, so I, you know, it's, it's rare, you know, um, in, in, in Cape Town and, uh, you know, it, the job might be a different story, but I'm saying people who also, because of, there's a sense of, you know, when you write about the work, there's a sense of, uh, a understanding of its depth, you know, you can't just write with with, with the lack of understanding mm -hmm. where its premise is, or a, a, a lack of a cultural premise of mm -hmm. where that work springs from, you know, uh, because of it means that you you see things and you misappropriate things or misinterpret things and stuff, which is fine as, as an outside person to to talk about what you see, but mm -hmm. it also helps to understand its context. You know, uh, to be really critical about it, or else you uh, you naively critique something, you know, without any basis of of of, of knowledge and depth knowledge. Mm -hmm. So your critical writing, anyway, it does not take the conversation forward. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and all these things, making the work, artistic work, writing about it, it's all part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's part of taking us forward. It's part of agitating issues. It's part of unpacking certain things. It's part of growing together in a way, but also it's part of making sure that um, uh, younger generation and future generations start actually, they read about this also, about what people is thinking about it, mm -hmm. in a way. So, so um, uh, and, and unfortunately also the, uh, the academics are stuck in the academic spaces, you know, they still yeah. so divorced to the actual society. Well, we have, I, know, have, I have um, struggles all the time. Yeah, with you know, so, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, let me just end it there. I don't want to. But let me just end it there. <laughs> and yeah, thank yeah, you so yeah. much for having to give me this little time. Here. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank okay. you. No, no, it's a pleasure. Okay. I would really like to know where it's going to go. And um, well, I'm yeah. Gonna, uh, uh, let me get let me get your information. Yeah. Talk to you a bit.